Singapore is imposing new regulations on its free trade zones. Now, these are locations where companies can store goods and are exempt from paying duties or goods and services tax. The tighter laws are in response to global concerns of FTZs uh, being used for illicit activities, including money laundering and weapons trafficking. The changes also aim to improve the detection of illegal activities. Marcus Tan with more. Trade is vital to Singapore's economy. And to keep free trade zone operators and cargo handlers in line, new compliance measures are being rolled out. FTZ operators will have to apply for licenses to run their businesses. Cargo handlers and agents must also compile and submit shipment information to local authorities before bringing any item into the country. Security protocols must be in place, such as the use of CCTV cameras. Customs officials will be given new enforcement powers within FTZs to detect and take action against illegal activity. Announcing these measures in Parliament, Senior Minister of State for Finance Chi Hong Tat says the new measures are necessary. As the busiest transshipment hub in the world, a significant amount of cargo comes through us daily. The vast majority is legitimate, but there will be a small minority who seek to flout the rules. We will facilitate trade, but we do not want to be misused by bad actors for their illegal means. Several MPs questioned the timing of these changes and their adequacy. They also voiced concerns about the business impacts for FTZ operators and cargo handlers. Is there an intent to review the, the, provisions, the provisions to see if the financial penalties currently capped at $10,000 are adequate? Equally, it is important that any illicit actors caught are themselves fully prosecuted to the fullest to deter others from exploiting our FTZs. Will the existing operators have to pay more to apply for and maintain their license as FTZ operators? My concern is that they could seek to pass these cost increases on to businesses and companies which operate in the FTZs, which may erode the more business-friendly conditions within these FTZs. Customs will continue to review the adequacy of its regulations, take action to address gaps, and ensure that we have a robust regime in place. Implementation of the provisions under the Revised Act will be phased in from early 2024. As part of this, Clauses 25 and 27 of the bill provide for a six-month transitional period to allow companies time to adjust. MPs also debated the new rule of data submission for cargo handlers and agents. They expressed concerns over the accuracy and confidentiality of data. The accuracy of data submission within the FTZs is of paramount importance. Can we get insights into the mechanisms that will be employed to ensure the accuracy of this data? Equally critical is how this data will be safeguarded by custom authorities. Can MOF share more information about this issue? Criminals will not declare accurate data about their illegal goods. And this is where Singapore Customs' sense-making and intelligence capabilities come into play to detect discrepancies in the data submitted to pick out suspicious shipments and perform additional checks. Exceptions pertain only for specific circumstances, for example, to enable officers of Customs to investigate suspected offences or to enable our public agencies to collect, compile and analyse such data for the purposes of national security. Mr Chi adds the Customs Department will use advanced technology like artificial intelligence to analyse shipment data for anomalies. He assures that all data collected will remain confidential. The new measures are aimed at deterring crime at Singapore's FTZs and ensuring the country stays competitive and reputable as a trading hub.